picture is um, Amelio from Russia. We've got Ilya Plavinov, who is the CEO. Thank you. It is not a secret that all of the past few years, music sales have been declining. This fact is usually explained by piracy and high prices, but I believe there is one more reason. You see, all the media around us is evolving, getting new forms. TV becomes HD, movies go 3D, etc. But music still remains as it is. There are just tracks, and you have two options, to listen or not to listen. So, absolutely no interactivity. And this is what we propose to change. Make modern music interactive by introducing a new standard for interactive loop-based music, uh, providing software for playing this interactive music, and ultimately converting existing and new tracks to the new interactive format and offering them for sale, just like with the Blu-ray movies. Can you put the volume up a bit? LoopJ is a new standard for dance music. Basically, it's a zipped wave loop pack created in compliance with a fixed set of rules. It is easy to create, distribute, and extremely fun to play with. Loop J is not a replacement for MP3, rather be a companion, a new way to play and enjoy music. This is how Loop J can establish another level of connections between the audience, the producers, the labels, and the DJs. The audience would gladly adopt a new way, interactive way, to enjoy their favorite classic and new tunes. On the other hand, the producers will be happy to make their music more open, more accessible for the, lis for the listeners, and uh, receive additional revenues. Uh, the labels can re-release their back catalogs in this new interactive format, because basically this is a completely new revenue stream. And the DJs are always looking for ways to improve their mixes, and Loop J allows unbelievable options for remixing and track mangling. Loop J standard is based on our research that nearly every existing dance music track can be split into five layers that always sound good together. Bass, beat, lead, atmosphere and rest. For each layer, producer provides four loops, 20 loops in total per track, uh, which gives us more than 1000 possible loop combinations. The loops are CD quality wave files and can be 16, 32 or 64 bars long. Only one loop from one layer can sound at the same time. Thus, the maximum number of simultaneously sounding layers is 5. And this matrix, 5 on 4, is the best possible combination, because more layers uh, cause sonic mass at a certain point, and more loops will lead to loss of control. As for the loop J file itself, it's simply a zip file with the wave loops, color image, and description inside and it usually takes from 17 to 35 megabytes in size. We found that ordinary user plays from 3 to 4 minutes with a loop J track, which is excellent. The first application to work with the loop J standard is also called uh, loop J. It is aimed at music enthusiasts, however, it has enough power to remain of high interest to professionals. The market is already full of loop-based applications. That's why we propose a new, unique concept, a mind-blowing combination between a loop player and a DJ device. This is a good description of how the application works. There are two loop J tracks playing at the same time on two loop J decks, always in sync, time stretched to have the same BPM, completely foolproof. A deck is a full loop J track player with five layers, four loops per layer. At one time, there is only one deck on the screen. User can switch between the decks with a flip of a finger. User has a master control fader to manipulate the balance between the decks. And user can cue the loops, apply effects to the loops, filters, adjust volume, do pretty much anything. And there is an option to activate split fader to take the bass from one track and the beat from the other track, for example. Really cool. Time for standby demo. user is always only one or two taps away from the in-app marketplace to purchase additional loops. And this whole idea of having two decks with a crossfader is the key factor of attracting and keeping the user interest to the application and maintaining a constant volume of loop deck tracks sold through the in-app marketplace.
The application is 90% ready. I can show it working to anyone, do a public demonstration. Uh, it will be ready for release in February for the iPhone and iPad. We are only looking for a partner who will help us to get high quality and legit content from the labels. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Ilya. Right on time again. We like that. Um, questions? Is, like is most of the content owned by... Uh, is, I, I don't know the dance music market very well. Is most of the content owned by labels or by artists directly or DJs directly? Uh, well, it depends. Or it needs uh, to be created. Uh, actually, uh, any kind of loop-based kind of music will suit here, but uh, I think we're talking mostly about dance music, and the audience, I think, um, is mostly uh, the people who, will, uh, who are more keen on dance music. No, but I mean, do you have to go to the labels and license that content, or is it mostly ah, controlled by well, the artists themselves? You see, uh, we, we are the software developers, and we are looking for a partner who will do this for ourselves, uh, well, in exchange for some kind of share or something like that. Uh, and actually, uh, the way our partner will do that, uh, well, there can be more different ways. We just need the music. The answer is, well, most of the time, yes. <laughs> right. Well, yes. Yes, yes sure. you do have to. I mean, if anything's commercially uh, successful, you'll have to license it from a label, yes. or major publisher, the one that writes. When when someone's created a Loop J track, is that something that they then own and can sell back into the App Store, or is that something that they can just have at that moment in time, or is that something they can save and pass around to their friends? I mean, what what's the sort of usage? Uh, well, I can see different uh, perspectives uh, of um, you know, this thing. Uh, we can re release uh, separate versions uh, of this application. The one which will have uh, its own marketplace and the other one which will be free and everyone will be able to upload their tracks there and share them. I think this is the best decision in this question. Why don't you create why don't you create an ability, instead of licensing, the labels are going to kill me for this, instead of licensing, why don't you create the ability to let the users pull an MP3 or just, what? in other words, it wouldn't be as complex as the files that you use now, but then you would avoid the licensing issues if you could take an MP3 from one artist to another artist and then mix them together, then you'd avoid the licensing issue for for the app. Do you understand what well, I'm saying? You see, the experience we're offering is completely different from mixing MP3 files because in, with uh, MP3 files you are dealing with static tracks and uh, where are not pretty much you can do with them. And with LoopJ you have five layers and you can uh, do things that are currently impossible now, like um, mention up some crazy completely mixes. Uh, and uh, you're not listening to static music, you're creating on the fly the way you want. Uh, and I think this is a well a complete new experience. I, I agree with you, but if you could option if you could option offer option A and B, you'd be able to market to a much wider audience, right? Because then you'd have the casual user who could come in and pull an MP3 off of this device and mix two together and have fun. And maybe a casual user you can upsell other items to, and maybe they become sticky, or you can run ads and monetize the user, and then you could have a deeper experience for. A, 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 you know, for DJ or a professional aspiring DJ, right? So Well, I see what you're saying. Well, of course, this is a question that still needs uh, polishing and discussing with our legal department. Yeah, I have, I have a quick question. Um, I, re I really like the space, but I think you need to get at least some artists engaged so they actually engage their audience with it, play with it, do competitions or you know, um, showcase for the product you can actually yes. do. Do you have any endorsement from anybody? Uh, any we we have some way? negotiations going on with really major artists. Uh, I can't re re reveal the names now, and hopefully, uh, hopefully in the next few months we will uh, be able to announce something of this kind. Uh, thank you for your suggestion. It's very helpful. What thoughts have you got towards how you will monetize this? Uh, well, uh, we are selling the application itself, and we are selling the content for the in app marketplace because. Um, uh, when you are making the user to mix the tracks, uh, they are more keen on uh, purchasing their in-app uh, tracks. And, uh, for example, when a user loads and plays a track uh, in the application, we have got a system that will suggest, because uh, you know we know the key for the track we're just playing, and the application will suggest which tracks will sound good with this exact track. And user taps on the one button to buy it. What's the price point? Hmm? What's the price point? The price point? Well, it's not uh, quite determined yet, but I think it will be around four or five uh, dollars for the application, and from one to two dollars per uh, looped in track. And will you offer a light version, like a free version to upsell the page? Yes, there will be a light version. What, uh, what features will the light version have? Uh, there will be uh, no recording. And 
What, what type of copyright issues do you face in terms of kind of mashing these tracks together? Certainly more on the, I would guess, on the publishing side more than the mastering side. Well, yes, uh, now this, uh, we, we have a separate company which deals with the, these issues since we are trying to concentrate on the software, you know, itself, like on the creative side of the process. But this thing is being uh, sold right, right now. Great, thanks, thanks very much, Ilya. Thank and you. a round of applause for, for a medium.